Greetings to you fellow beer fans all over the world. Here with you again is your own favorite presenter, Akban Akban Asoko, from your most favorite Biafra television online, BRF TV, Biafra Radical Freedom TV. Today, before we delve fully into analyzing the video you just watched, we wish to bring to you the following developments today, the news breaking, and that a few days ago. Of course, Mazi Simon Epa, the PM, Biafra Republic government in exile, has stated what transpired between the current Nigerian president, Chifola Ahmed Tinubu, and the German counselor, whom he visited. According to the PM Biafra Republic government in exile, Chibola Ahmed Tinubu traveled to Germany, met with the German counselor, and told him on how he desperately needs him to assist in trapping Mazi Simon Epa and repatriating him to Nigeria to be punished for his supposed numerous crimes as accused. According to him, Mazi Simon Epa, who called Bola Ahmed Tinubu different names, which includes drug baron and a criminal, seated in Asuro. According to him, Bola Ahmed Tinubu left all the things that border Nigerian people and was so concerned about how to get Mazi Simon Epa down because he feels that their biggest nightmare is the man who wants to stop them from sucking from the felt system on the spoils of Nigerian indigenous communities whom they have continued to use political institutions to steal from on Nigerian development. Madabia Mela, former speaker, currently the chief of staff to Chibola Metinobu, the Nigerian president, have been implicated in the ongoing investigation of the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Ms. Beta Edu. According to Beta Edu, Madabia Mela has been involved in all the supposed act of theft which she has been associated with. Also, Bajabi Amela, the former speaker to Nigerian House of Assembly, Lower House, the Green Chamber, has been linked up with MFLA's ordeal, where MFLA have been accused of stealing, embezzling, and fingering Nigerian national coffers to a very disastrous extent. According to MFLA, the former central bank governor, Bola Biemela is supposed to go down with me if I go down. Because all the accusations leveled against me, all the crimes of theft that I have been accused of uh, being involved in, Bola Biemela had a hand in them all. On another development, bandits have stormed a community in Casina State and adopted 30. According to an eyewitness, the bandit, when they invaded the community, used megaphone to address the people and told them not to run away. That if anyone runs away, they will shoot him or her. Because they have come to render security services to them and not to kill them. And another eyewitness stated that these bandits were entering houses entering people's privacy from house to house and bringing people out to the open field. That is the development from Castina State. Another development, this happened three days ago. Nasawara State, Mieti Allah terrorist group mobilized over 2,140 of their armed men and took them to some far states claiming they have come to give security to Sanfara State. And you can see that for yourself here. This is tents, over 50 kilos runs. These are the Mieti Allah terrorists 
brandishing their rifles and the government of Nigeria is watching them and this is one of the reasons some Niger Delta ex-militants are regrouping coming out to counter some of their comrades like Asari Dokubo, Atikiton, calling them out. This is why the video you just watched is one of the reasons. And um, that's okay. Um, we progress. From the Prime Minister, the African Republic government Twitter handle, now X handle. The another major oil pipeline is currently on flames on 23rd January 2024. Another major pipeline is on flames. According to him, the Biafran forces is determined to stop the flow of oil revenue to Nigerian Islamic states. The oil in Biafra is Biafra. The oil is in Biafra territory and Nigerian government is using the revenue generated from the oil to fund banditry activity all over southern Nigeria. And this we are not going to allow. Our target is to completely crash the economy of Nigeria to starve them of the source of funding terrorism in our region until Biafra is completely declared. That is it for uh, for the oil installation attack, pipeline attack. And that reminds me, Shell just opted to quit. Shell has declared to leave Nigeria and are looking for buyers of their logistics. Currently, and last week, Ajib oil installation company was attacked and that Defra Liberation Army says all operators must leave until they leave this will continue to remain the trend. PM Biafra Republic government in exile reminds Biafrans to prepare for a very serious sit at home that will leave the cities of Biafran land on ghost town as the day 1st February draws near. That is, that during the referendum kickoff week, the Biafrans are expected to sit at home in homeland. And one of the major developments along the week is that Ikenga Ruago, the young man who were busy Beating saliva around in the name of making broadcast from South Africa finally arrives Nigeria and has been given escort by Nigerian government to move around and this happens to be the same people of the DOS who are pursuing for this freedom of Biafra with all of us this same Biafran freedom quest the same reason why Mazin Namdekanu, our supreme leader, is in detention in the custody of Nigerian states, DSS, is the same thing pursued by the DOS members. And this same Ikenga, who is given convoy by Nigerian government, stated last year, earlier last year in his publication on YouTube, that the DOS members, China Sanguru, to be precise, was in Nigeria. And he is challenging Simon Epa to come if he feels he is an Odogo, that he should come to Nigeria to the way Chinasa has come, so that he will know that Simon is really Odogo. That was a decoy to trap my Simon Epa if he dares to come home. But they who are pursuing the same Biafra with us, who told us that Mazi Simon Epa is conniving with Nigerian government, has compromised, is working, is an agent of Nigerian government, is the one that cannot visit Nigeria. And our people are following these people, listening to them, that they are fighting for Biafra with them. This same Biafra that Mazin Namdekanu is fighting, and one wonders, is it the same Biafra that Mazin Namdekanu is fighting for, that 
left him in that solitary confinement in the DSS dungeon? Is it the same Biafra that Marubugu, who is also given security, given convoy by the same Nigerian government, the oppressor that he told us he is fighting with? And Nonyendu said, anyone who is getting condemnation, who is called a terrorist by Nigerian government, is the only person that is in the movement with him. And our people are still following them, making excuses. That is why when some of them who once fought for the DOS realize themselves, it becomes too late, like Paul Achebe, who has been sacked by the DOS for questioning the reason for Ikenga's rejection of IPOB or denouncing his membership with IPOB or of IPOB. Paul Achebe now was asked to quit. He was suspended. And these are the people who were fighting for DOS because they were beguiled. They were used. They didn't wake up on time. Prince Darlington once woke up, Jonathan once woke up, but they seem to have fallen back. Maybe one or two things have exchanged hands. One or two things just exchanged hands and they had to go back to their vomit. Fellow dear friends, you must be awake. This Biafra referendum, the DOS are there making so much reasons, busy doing their own crusade, telling the those of the IPOB members who are still listening to them, giving them reason not to join, not to partake in the referendum. And this I want to ask you as a Biafran who has followed Mazen Nandekano from onset. Are you wise in your decision? This referendum, assuming you are told by the DOS not to partake in it, are you not going to use your own brain to know that you have to give it a trial? Even if you are not believing in what Mazisa Manekwa is doing, even if you don't believe in his approach, don't worry. Just do your own part. Identify with your uh, 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 government in homeland, identify with your county, identify with your state and your county, get your Gmail, just vote. This comes with no threat, no risk. There is no, nothing elusive, nothing difficult in this. It's so simple. Get your Gmail and account, get it ready, get a picture you attach to it, vote on that day. Let it be that it doesn't count. Vote that day. What matters is not who brings Biafra. What matters is we finally got it. And our leader eventually, by the reason of a new government, by the legitimacy of our new government, sovereign uh, uh, government, Mazen Nandekan will be released to us. Since it is clear to you that the Nigerian courts, after all their efforts to give justice to Mazen Nandekan, the government of Nigeria and their almighty DSS, who will always alter, oust or, or counter whatever comes from the court and the court who are not dependent, who are not independent, no matter what the, the, no matter how intelligent and how legally founded a judge is to declare or, or administer justice when the will of the political elites are not favored, it cannot stand. This is not the kind of country we will remain in. Therefore, I call on you all who are still getting this whole thing wrong. You must wake up to this reality. Join this, not for the sake of Mazen Simon Ekba, but for the sake of Mazen Nambikano, for the sake of all the comrades who have fallen for this same cause, for the sake of all sacrifices made so far, for the sake of the blood that has spilled, that has spilled on the account of this struggle, why not we take this chance? Let's, why not we take grab this opportunity and rewrite history? We should not remain. We cannot continue to make a agitation our work every year handwork 
we are every day our work our is using the social media and agitating we cannot remain in agitation stage forever we have agitated we have created awareness we have made our point we have attracted international attention but we understand that there is serious interest in the resources of the Biafran people that it's expedient for some Western forces to use the the the, the unorganized highly corrupt government of Nigeria to keep exploiting our natural resources to keep harnessing our natural resources without having us enjoy the good dividends of it so as a good Biafran who wants freedom in reality and not just for the sake of coming to social media to use it to make money I want you to start the campaign pitch tent switch over you might not like the approach of Mazi Simon Epa. You might not like the approach of autopilot. But what is important to us is that we have our freedom. A lot of people say they don't like the approach of Mazi Namdekano. But at the end, they still joined the IPOB movement. You have no option. One person must lead the, in the, from the front. Somebody must lead from the front. If the DOS is the real structure and the DOS is handicapped, they are they don't have any, they don't know their left from their right on how to go about this struggle. And and it is also clear that a lot of them, just like Ikenga has proven, that a lot of them are really working with Nigerian state. A lot of them are having benefit from Nigerian state. It is very clear at this point, even to the blind. Why not we? You see him enjoy with a GO4 and enjoy convoy of Nigerian state and and you think that everybody can be fooled forever? No. It is your duty. It is your duty to encourage the other people who are still with you in the DOS to switch over and come to the moving train. Not for the sake of not for the sake of uh, uh, just for the sake of the struggle, for the sake of our freedom, for the sake of Mazin Nandekano's freedom, for the sake of our fallen heroes, for the sake of all the sacrifices and people have gone down for this. Those who are still in detention, languishing in different Nigerian detention uh, facilities, uh, correctional facilities, those who have been paid, please, you must join this movement vote vote for your freedom vote for the freedom of your unborn children both vote so that posterity will not have a bad record for you will not judge you wrongly you must partake in writing this history right you must partake in writing this history right you are not to fight for any inconsequential or not to back into any inconsequential battle or, or, or fight you must think about this you must think about this we can't remain deceived forever we can't be deceived forever the DOS those of you who are in the DOS that are not part of all this evil you need to be bold so no courage so no courage Think about this, solo courage, and join this referendum. Join this referendum. Once you are understanding this, you need to also join me in crusading, in educating others. Let us do it. The reason for this, I am not supposed to tell you, but I will hint you. Some of the world leaders, some of the people in governments of some countries, you know, before I go there, all this is about interest. No nation wants to come into something they don't have uh, what to benefit from. There are Western forces who have been envious of Britain. There are European countries who have been envious of Britain. 
envious of France, envious of America, the way they have been enjoying Africa alone. And some of these people want to remove a uh, mouth, they remove the baby's mouth from this breast. They want to remove some of them feel that why america is on the top why france is on the top the economy is very why britain is flourishing is that they are sucking africa and nigeria be nigeria being one of the frontline african states they are sucking so they want to interrupt this their own interest is they want to interrupt this easy wealth that uh, uh, west some western countries are enjoying from africa so that is their own interest and the opportunity presents itself they want to have a situation where these people don't have surplus again that and so that they will not be able to intimidate them again this is some of their interests and some just have love some countries like finland have love for africa or for biafra that is why some of them helped us during the first time. some of you will say hey israel is not coming why is israel israel is not coming israel is a sovereign state that will not just come in like that something must happen for you to have certain level of aid in the 1970s they came in with aid 1960s to 70 they came in with aid but this time they are not coming with aid because some or in fact particularly the nigerian government has betrayed them has stood against them has openly antagonized them, condemned them, demonstrated hatred for them, and anything that will make them reward Nigeria in their deserved coin, they want to be part of it. There are other countries and many reasons, and some people are now their tenor of office some leaders of the world who are sympathizing with us their tenor of office is about to elapse so they want to see what they can do within the remaining months what they can do for us and that is why you have the sudden arrangement for referendum so don't think we are all alone in this we are not and then we go into the uh I was about saying something before. I think I was about saying. Uh, I was about saying something. What was that? Uh, why some countries? Okay, maybe that that will be for next time when I remember it. But for now, why the video you just watched uh, about militants who are now coming out to? Uh, fight some of their old uh, leaders, kingpins like Ateke Tom, Tompulu, Asari Dokubo, now coming up. This is real. These men are coming up because some of them were sincerely agitating to better their region. Some of them were in the same line, in the same vision with. Uh, 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 Oh, some of their uh, educated members in the creek there are some of their learned members some of them have uh, died so some of them died on the course so some of them stand very firm for what they believe yes they could have been part of different attacks so make no mistake of of a uh, uh, joining issues by tagging all of them to be selfish and greedy a lot of them are not really greedy a lot of them are not really selfish but unfortunately their leaders fronted their stomach so so some of their leaders were very selfish and they know when uh, someone would say uh, where the vision of a leader ends that is where the vision of a country ends within a particular administration so if their leader are this selfish so the vision of the organization of the movement would be cut short and the selfishness of these leaders is what the world will see or will be seen so as regards this uh, video uh, from caterpillar yesterday uh, a few days ago i just played because i have direct access to some of them i am 
uh, and talk to some of their friends, some people from the Greek, so I can always extract. Going forward, from time to time, I'll be looking for anytime they do any video, will be getting updated because some of them, their body language is they want to join Biafra because originally some of them felt they would get a republic of their own, Niger Delta Republic, but seeing that there is no clear cut vision and nobody is navigating uh, the struggle towards that line, so it ended at uh, resource control, which was not achieved. But it's an it's achievable venture, but not achieved because of selfishness of some of the leaders. And um, as we speak, there have been clashes, and it is just starting. You know, sometimes when God is is doing something, we will not know where it's coming from. So if these clashes really go deeper, I think it will favor our struggle. Yes, it will favor. It will still be a plus, even though we we will say we. Uh, without them, we can do what we are doing. Yes, but if they also come, it will also be a plus. Yes, because a lot of them um, played smart. They did not surrender their arms uh, totally during the amnesty program. A lot of them played very smart. So those of them who did not surrender all, these were part of those really genuine uh, uh, freedom fighters. A lot of them, I think, some of them traveled, some of them are... Uh, now in different countries and some of them within the river uh, right those countries that are closer to the waterways or atlantic ocean so they are they are really they, they, they seem to be regrouping they seem to be having understanding that would result to something positive in the nearest future we hope it comes sooner and um um Caterpillar have been replied by another militant, a southern who was, who was uh, I think, who was with uh, 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 John Togo. Uh, this is a very strong ally of uh, John Togo. Yes, uh, some people thought he was dead. Some people thought he is no more into uh, uh, arm struggle. Some people said he is now uh, drunkard and many things, but he has come to clear the air. He is still much intact. So, as you enjoy the video, please share it on. Enable uh, others to see it by sharing it. Share it. Subscribe to this channel, please. Drop your comments. Just say your mind. Say your mind. And we pray that this referendum we will be able to hit up to 40 million, not just 20 million. And that starts with you, how much you are able to tell. If it takes you, the way they bribe in Nigerian election, the way they, they buy, give people gifts to buy rice, buy your own bag of rice, share people, they need to wake up because at a point, due to this tussle of power that the DOA is doing, DOS uh, 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 embarked on. A lot of our Biafran people are tired. They don't know what to believe. They don't know what to do. They are like stuck in the middle of nowhere. So our leader, Madden and the Union, do the biggest gift we can ever give to him, the biggest thing we can ever do to him, the biggest reward we can ever give him is ensuring this Biafra comes. Do your own part. Your own part is just to vote. But don't stop just at voting. Do the crusade. There are people who believe in you, in your business, uh, business friends, associates, the business, uh, your colleagues in school, your colleagues in church. Make sure that everybody in your church, as a girlfriend, is voting. Make sure here in my side, here in Ikotepan area, I will make sure that we get a lot of votes. Everybody, everybody, make sure you are influencing people to vote. The same way they are underground influence. Don't stop at just voting alone. Make sure that you convince 100 people. Yes, it's not too much. Make sure you convince 100 people. If there are people, you will give recharge card. Give them a recharge card. Just 100 naira recharge card, 200 naira recharge card. If there are people, you will buy food. Buy them food. Let it be that. Let it go so viral. Let it enter people's mind. And you will not regret, you will be grateful to God and to yourself that you did this. Because history will hold it good for you. Even if nobody saw what you did, the God of the Afrikaner, the 
the, the God of Biafra land, our God, the spirit of Biafra will recognize you and you must flourish. Just do it. Let this be your only two seed. Let it be your commitment. Do the crusade. Evangelize. This is bigger than whatever money you can give to anyone. That money you will give to anyone in the church or whatever. Commit it to this. And let it be that we have the biggest... Uh, hey, I was about saying something. I can remember now. You know, one of the reasons this is happening is why the 20 million... Why the PM wants 20 million? Yes, I remember. In Nigerian elections, in our region, in, in the former Eastern region, we have never recorded up to 20 million uh, voters. In fact, voter turnout, most time in the whole of Southeast, we don't record up to 5 million. And in the whole of Southeast, South South, and the Ibos and their brothers put together, most times we never recorded up to. 12 million voters and if the referendum we can get up to 20 million affirmative voting yes we want to go that settles it chicken chicken so that is why i want you to make sure that you don't take this don't take don't give don't give chances to the enemy this time we must because the politicians are out to campaign against people like kike guru who are jobless who have nothing to offer have been contracted a lot of them have been contracted even from the dos they will be sponsoring the a lot of politicians have been releasing from they have released funds as we speak to the dos threat threaters the traitors in the US have been released from to, to oppose this uh, referendum from within so that we will have the counter motion from IPOB itself. So it will appear that we are not even organized in the first place. They want to they want to distract us. So it will be that IPOB distracted themselves and this is not something you must allow to happen. I am telling you. This is not something you must allow to happen. They will say that we are not organized even from within our house, that we cannot be united. So they are already sponsoring it. So Simon Epa is not anything that goes like what um China Tamuru just released. He just made a press release where he was saying different things and now ESN and all that bullshit that uh, we should not attach emotions we should not uh, go on propaganda and all of that it is they have started their work what do you expect we should remain because they are profiteers they are profiting from this struggle they want this struggle to remain that we from every year from year to year we will continue in struggle what are we doing ipob ipob struggle freedom fighting that every year we will keep doing struggle freedom fighting and people keep buying they keep they keep attacking our communities. If these people in Zamfara succeeds, if they succeed in this security, the, the Mieti Allah, if you remember, this is a terrorist organization that has owned up attacks. They have wreaked havoc in different communities. They owned up, it's not that they are accused. They came out to give press of briefing, threatened to do more until the people surrenders their land imagine such imagine such an impudence imagine such audacious idiocity and somebody is saying that hey you should not see if they can give the security now if they succeed in zamfara remember it will not take they already said within six months they would have uh, replicated it in other states of uh, nigeria so they will do it in Benue. that means you would have totally surrendered that means they just were able to tell you that Nigerian military is useless. That Nigerian Air Force, Nigerian Navy, Nigerian Police, Niger that all the security apparatuses of Nigerian state are useless. So Mieti Allah is the one now that can give security. So that all the natural resources in every community of Nigeria will totally be surrendered to them. That is why they are making havoc to take over the resources of the lands of indigenous people. That is what they're doing. 
and you know that our own land is too rich. That is why they have been attacking, they have been trying, making all the moves, all the years, to come over. And when they sack you, I wonder where the big belly, whom I used to respect some time ago, until he just messed himself. As I read Okubo, I must say, I am not, I am not pleased by the way you are going. You don't seem to be repenting. And I was looking at Boy Loaf the other day. He was there in a ticket place with the uh, Asaido Kubo they were going to make. What peace treaty? What peace? Peace to continue continue deceiving our brothers, our youths to uh, uh, keep um, a guiding pipeline for. That is what the grievances of some of the militants. Yes. I, 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 what, what do you call it? And the. Uh, the the other guy that did the video last day that's part of the grievances of caterpillar that's part of the grievances of uh, 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 this uh, one that just did, uh, replied to caterpillar uh, this, uh, the the deep sea the deep sea is part of the thing he's also complaining and the reason and some of them in fact they they don't want to be involved in anything like what they stated there if they were telling caterpillar if the reason if the reason he's doing this video is to bring them all together to work with Atsai Dokobo and the Tompolo and the rest of them to join the Biafran uh, Liberation Army or struggle, that he will not be part of it. And his own uh, uh, friends, the other leaders, different leaders of uh, Niger Delta uh, 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 Boys Day, that they you will discourage them from joining because they feel that the uh, uh, Asari will not be able to uh, he cannot be a sincere person he cannot be trusted they feel that Tompolo can also not be trusted i think they already say he's a betrayer and a lot, in fact a lot of them are still carrying grievances of what uh, happened many years where they felt a lot of them uh, 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 partook they will play the role in they were part of what happened to some of their comrades who who was fallen many years ago so uh, fellow dear friends please Share this video, please. Share this video. Share this video. Share this video. Subscribe. Like. Make sure you are clicking on the like. Like button. Like this video. Love this video. Share it. Comment. And thank you. This is this is the Akman Akman Asoko from BRF TV. BRF Red Freedom TV. And we will be coming to you next with more loaded information updates. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.